Hey guys, Spencer with Fast EGR Solutions and just here again, wanted to uh, touch base on another process that we do. Um, you know, we're, we're very keen on, on quality control. Um, whenever we send a part out, we want it to fit, um, do what it's supposed to. We, we're all gearheads and we've installed parts that don't fit really well, so we've spent a, a lot of extra time and that was uh, you know, part of the reason this project took you know, three plus years to get to market you know a lot of changes just make sure to give you guys the best product and um, what we're going to do today is kind of show you one of the steps that we do using some some cool tools in me and just make sure that these these parts are made correctly uh, so what we're going to do um, we have a couple tubes here i'm only going to scan this one um, and we're going to use our our creaform uh, 3d scanner uh, it's very accurate um, lets you scan very complex even though this isn't super complex uh, it would be hard to get some measurements off of quickly um, so what we're going to do is use this scanner scan this part and then compare it to our quality control part which is a part that we have installed on a vehicle uh, so we know that it fits 100 percent um, no doubt and then we can see where the different tolerances are because this is you know bent tubing so there there are tolerances even though we have very low tolerances. So I just took our quality control part, the part that we scanned, merged them together. It basically looks like one, but then we can go in and measure the differences. So this is the two tubes laid over each other and the color map will show the differences. Um, you can get pretty, pretty in depth, but there's an easier way to do it. So you can click around and see what your tolerances are, uh, or your differences between the parts. Uh, right there where I clicked were you know, two thousandths difference. The greatest distance is gonna be down here, uh, which is you know, 54 thousandths on this one side. This tube that we scanned was actually a, a customer's tube and it was damaged. So I believe that's where some of the, the difference comes up, but uh, still, even at 54 thousandths, um, that is that is pretty pretty accurate for mandrel bent stainless tubing, especially 120 wall that has a lot of spring back. And you go over to different areas like the flanges. You know, we're 18 thousandths difference between the the faces of the flanges. You can't see anything major, you know, just by your eyes. So normally you can do a visual inspection and just tell that it you know it is very close. But if you if you need to get really close you can click on it and see see all the differences this is one way that we do you know quality control just to make sure that parts are going to fit right make sure that you're going to get what you paid for this is just one of the many ways that we can ensure that you guys are getting the the correct parts you're not going to have a whole lot of frustration whenever you're installing these parts and have to give us a call and correct an issue the more issues we can fix before it goes out the door the happier everybody will be if you guys have any questions, uh, please give us a call or visit fastegrsolutions.com.